Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Shada here and I'm really excited to share this video with you today because we are doing a kitchen makeover and it's going to be big. Now I have a feeling that this video is going to be of interest to quite a lot of you that have got darker kitchen cabinets or cupboards and you want to figure out a way to update them and make them look a little bit more modern and your style but perhaps you don't have thousands and thousands of pounds to go and install a brand new kitchen or perhaps you don't even have darker kitchen cabinets but the ones that you do have have are maybe not your style and you want to spruce them up a bit. I'm going to be showing you how painting your kitchen cabinets is easy enough to do, is long lasting, gives a really quality look and it's super simple so let's jump straight into it. But before we do make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you're following me and you never miss a DIY makeover. First things first let's pop these doors off. Of course you can use a manual screwdriver but if you have one to hand you might want to find a small electric screwdriver. Reason being that this is a tedious task and it'll be much kinder to your hands. This tip is going to make your life easier. Label a sandwich bag with a number and description of where the door is from, pop the hardware in there and then pop a description onto the door itself. This is going to make it seamless when you come to put the doors back on at the end. Okay, in theory, in my head, this was gonna work. The post-it note that you can see there that has the number and the description of the door, yeah, that didn't work out. So obviously as I'm sanding and then I lift it off, it loses tackiness and then there's dust everywhere so it doesn't stick back down. Realizing the error of my ways, I decided to write the number instead on the hole where the hinge goes. I then covered this with a small piece of paper so that any excess paint didn't cover the number and I was able to know where exactly to put the door. On this occasion, I'm actually not using a primer. I'm going straight in with the Rust-Oleum Washable Matte Kitchen Cupboard Paint. This paint doesn't require a primer nor a top coat because it's all built into the paint itself, which is great. It's ultra durable, scrubbable, water resistant, and it has a flat matte finish. It's suitable for wood and melamine surfaces, which is what I'm currently painting, which is that plasticky sort of coated kitchen cupboard that you can get. Day two was more sanding and if you're wondering, I'm using 180 grit paper so that I can get a good surface for the paint to bond. As I said before, this is tedious, it is repetitive, so make sure you get some music on or watch a show in the background because you will be doing the same thing over and over again. Morning guys, we've got a slightly different setup today. So this is day three, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. The weather's not too bad actually, it's quite nice. But the thing with this week is it's gonna be on and off raining. We have set up this little kind of drying area because it's only spitting through the day. It's not necessarily like storming it down so I think we'll be able to leave it outside because it's actually really quite warm as well and they'll kind of cure the paint will cure on the cupboards a little bit better if we leave them outside so anyway we've got that station I'm going to start bringing them outside so we've had a couple of them drying overnight that's the back of the cupboards which we've had two coats actually three coats of paint this is the grey cabinets that need another couple coats and then these ones um this is the third the third coat on the back of this and the full and the front of them I actually can't remember, but I feel like that's the third coat as well. Maybe the fourth. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, today's the day that I think I want to use the spray paint gun because we've got a little setup outside now. So if I can kind of master how to use it, then um, we'll be it'll be way quicker, basically. And it will give a much like finer finish to them as well. Shortly after that, it started raining. You can always count on the UK, can't you? <laughs> So I decided to still be productive within that time and I was masking off the edges for the inside because I actually forgot that although there's so many kitchen cabinet doors, I keep saying cabinet, it's my new word. Since there are so many doors, you kind of forget that there's actually still work to do in the inside of the kitchen itself. So you have got to sand down and paint those parts of the kitchen that you do see. For 
anyone wondering, I am using a range of paint and decorating tools from Worcester. Their quality is beyond. I will leave them all linked down below for you. But if there is one thing that you get, please check out the paint kettle that you can see there. It is called the Pelican and it is a game changer. I will definitely leave that link down below for you. Just another quick tip, sand using 240 grit paper in between coats when the paint is dry to get better durability on the finish. This is the exciting part. I finally was able to get my spray paint gun out and use it. Guys, the quality, you're gonna see, but the quality, mad of course i'm going to leave it linked down below for you but this is the wagner w100 i love this thing i'm going to show you the quality and the finish but i love this again just sanding down in between coats dusting off using a microfiber cloth and then we're going to get to work Okay, the first attempt was a flop because I don't know who I thought I was, but I thought I could just go in there, guns blazing, spray the whole thing down and I'd get it picture perfect. No, I put way too much paint on. I didn't get the right settings. So I'm gonna give you a few tips here now. Number one, I've been told that the paint works better if it's a little bit more room temperature and not freezing cold. Number two, the paint that you put in at the sprayer can't be too thick because it won't spray evenly. So you need to water it down. Watery measurements will be on the paint tin or Google it because there are different sort of measurements for the finish that you want. For this paint, I diluted it by about 10% water, but I think I could have even done a little bit more. Number three, get your settings right. Make sure that you've twisted the nozzle to either spray horizontally vertically or in a circular motion. Number four and one of the most important ones as a beginner grab a huge piece of cardboard and practice spraying on there before you go into spraying your cabinets. Five spray whatever you're spraying laying flat. Six this may be obvious but don't over spray take your time try and do a light coating and an even finish. Seven, wipe down excess paint on the nozzle with a damp cloth every time you put the machine down. And number eight, finally, make sure you wash the entire machine properly and thoroughly every single time you finish using it. Honestly, that spray paint gun machine is a total, total game changer. I've used it on several projects since and it gives the most amazing, amazing professional finish. It actually looks like you have bought the kitchen cabinets brand new. That is how good the finish is with this machine. Anywho, we'll get onto that later on. For now, we are removing the masking tape. I'm using a sharp blade here just to make sure that I don't get any chippings because I did leave the paint to dry a little bit because I did two layers. So I'm just cutting through alongside that tape so I get a really clean, fresh edge. After the doors had been drying for a few days, I added the hinges back on and reattached them. If you can and you have the space and the time, I would suggest that you leave these to cure properly for seven days before attaching them. Before I show you how it all looks finished, here's a quick reminder of what the kitchen looked like before. The cabinetry was slightly darker and the owner wanted to brighten it up. I'm hoping that you will agree, this is a real transformation. I'm so proud of this one. A few days hard work and look at the outcome. I'm so hoping that you enjoyed this transformation. If you did, leave me a comment, like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my makeovers in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye. Mwah.